At 13 years of age, Rahilat Umar is one of the youngest players on this all-girls high school rugby team. It's a physically demanding sport, and while Rahilat says it's not for everyone, she has developed a passion for it. The girls expected not to be involved in all those masculine games because they believe rugby needs strength. So they believe as a girl, I'm not supposed to be face my studies, leave all those games. I believe that what a man can do, a woman can do it better. The team is getting ready for a tournament. The coach is working hard to prepare his players as much as he can on the field. But off the field, he knows that some of his players are facing challenges. Rahilat comes from a conservative Muslim family. Her parents are strongly against her playing rugby, but for now, they allow her to play. I sent her to school to learn, not to be playing rugby. And as a, as a Muslim and a girl, I don't think uh, it's very wise I will allow her to play rugby. Rahilat is the youngest of six children. Her father is very fond of her. He's not shy about how he feels about the baby of the family doing something that he considers inappropriate. If I decide to stop her, I will do that. But Rahilat says she hopes her parents will eventually come around. Male rugby players also face challenges. Many of them come from working class families who would prefer that their sons earn money instead of playing rugby. But these guys are determined. They work out in the streets where folks from the neighborhood gather to watch. When they're done, they run. And they end up here. They're also practicing for the statewide championship. Back at the high school, the players are ready. Today is game day. It's their first time playing outside in a real rugby competition. They're pepped up. Thirteen rugby teams are here. Only two of them are female teams. The basic girls college team has a few more minutes to reflect and pray. Rahila's parents are not coming, but she doesn't dwell on that for long. Her coach has high expectations for her. Rahilat as a player is one of the fantastic players I have. When it comes to game Nigeria, before we are nowhere to be found when it comes to the female. But presently now, the females are coming up. They are beating the imagination of so many people. In no time, the games begin. The boys are up first. The fans are all fellow players rooting for their favorites. This is the second time the tournament is taking place. It was put together by the Kano State Rugby Association and the Barewa Rugby Club. Martin Crawford, a UK national, came to Kano 13 years ago and is helping to popularize rugby here. When we started, we kind of focused on the, se on the senior secondary. We realized that was a mistake because if you catch the kids when they're 12, 13, they're with you till 13, 14, 15, 16, they leave secondary school. By that time, they're you know, uh, die-hard rugby players. They play rugby for the pure pleasure of it. In fact, they'll walk over hot cold. Finally, it's time for the girls to play. They try their best, but the game ends in a scoreless draw. Dignitaries, including the Emir of Kanu, arrive to watch the tournament. Both female teams win a trophy. Coach Stanley is proud of his team. The Nigerian females are coming up and not just crawling. They are really coming up and I believe they are going to make the world proud someday. With the cooperation and the understanding of the parents, Rehilas is moving somewhere and I know for sure one day she will get to somewhere. Sky will not just be her limit for her starting points. I tried my best. I put all my effort on it. These young women know they represent change in their societies. They know they have a long way to go. Chika Odua for VOA News, Kanu, Nigeria.